that um, again, no one would prefer force to be initiated against them, and thus that's the only moral code we have to follow. Everything else, again, becomes preference. But by applying an AP, both in a, in a fashion where you can choose to associate, you voluntarily choose to associate with the people you want to, and you can voluntarily choose to not associate with the people you don't want to, thus we start to solve the problems of grouping wrapped around or collaboration wrapped around uh, people with disparate principles or disparate backgrounds where you know one group of people is say an atheist and another group of people is say very uh, religious and they want to come together to collaborate on certain things such as perhaps building a road or keeping their neighborhood safe or whatever but beyond that they don't really want to interact well then that's how the free market works right the free market is the ability for people to interact without you know care or concern about what your principles necessarily are you can they can certainly be a part of it if you choose you can certainly have a business which says well i only care about the uh servicing religious people and i don't care about servicing atheists it's perfectly fine it's your choice it's your business model um you know you're, you're automatically eliminating a certain subset of your total addressable market right but that's your choice right and maybe your business can be successful on that model you know it, it all depends and and so that's where the market comes into play to kind of start to solve some of these differences but enabling us to collaborate because the incentive to survive the incentive to collaborate where it matters such as de, such as skill divers, uh, diversification um is is where we start to amplify our ability to help each other right our ability to survive our ability to collaborate our ability to to help one another this is where you know people come together is in the marketplace because you don't necessarily need to care about uh your social principles you can care about uh the principles of helping each other through you know increasing someone's survival by providing a product or an innovation in the marketplace so so anyway when you start to apply nap you can now apply that globally and all of these different disparate groups can kind of come together and they don't have to necessarily agree on things outside of the fact that they want to come in together to accomplish one particular project or one particular goal or whatever that is right so whether it's defense or whether it's a road or whether it's um, exchanging goods all those things do not require that necessarily that you really care about the the social principles that this person follows right